If you look at that word love, it means a warm and tender liking, deep feeling of fondness and friendship, great affection. A mother's love is unconditional, and unconditional means without any conditions. A mother's love is precious, having great value, worth much, valuable, gold, platinum, silver, are often called the precious metals of a mother's love. Diamonds, rubies, and sapphires, and precious stones are given reference to as a mother's love. When you look at her, she is a Jew. Somebody say Jew. Jew. Which means mother is a precious stone. She's like a gem. A valuable ornament to be worn, to set with precious stones. When you look at Proverbs chapter 3, verse 15, let's turn to that right quick. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 15. The text we are in Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10. But let's look at Proverbs chapter 3, verse 15. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 15. If you have it, please say amen. amen. Let's read it out loud together. It says, She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared what? Amen. Nothing can be compared to a mother's love. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 15, saints of God. Please turn to that. Proverbs chapter 20. And we're going to look at verse 15, excuse me, yes, verse 15, that's right. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 15. If you have it, say amen. amen. Let's read it out loud together. What does it say? Yeah. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a what? Praise the Lamb of God forever. And here's the final scripture that I want to give you today as it relates to her awesomeness, the awesomeness that God has placed in the woman. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10. Let's turn to that. You read the text. It says, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? We need to do an exegesis on verse 10. I want you to look at it, if you will, when it says, who can find a virtuous woman? The definition of that word virtuous means a godly woman. Somebody say a godly woman. Godly woman. Uh, another connotation or definition of that word means a woman. Repeat that after me. A woman, a woman. of spiritual, of spiritual integrity. integrity. Yes, a virtuous woman is a godly woman. She is a woman of good and moral and righteous and spiritual integrity. A virtuous woman is one who has a standard far above others. She has a likeness about her that she possesses a godly quality and all who see her see that God has been exemplified in her life. Not only is she virtuous, but the text says in verse 10, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. The price of a godly mother is not to be attainable because you cannot put any uh, monetary value on the love or price of a good mother. Uh, then she has rubies. She is a clear, hard, deep red variety of hard mineral rubies are valued precious stones. Tell your neighbor, mom is, mom is precious. I want to encourage somebody this afternoon. If you watch your mama growing up, when you were watching her, if she struggled to take care of you, then what you should do when God finally blesses you, you should go back and bless her as much as you can. Oh, and let me tell you something, young people. How do you bless mom at an early age? When you bless her with your obedience in listening to her. You bless her with your reverence and your respect for her. You bless her by bringing home A's when it's report card time. 
I wish I had some help. Oh, you bless her when you show her that you have an attitude of gratitude, and no matter what it is that she's done that you might think is little, it's great because I want to tell you today that a good mother sacrifices for her children. A good mother puts her children's need above her own need. Do I have any witnesses out there? I'm going to repeat that because we got some selfish mothers in the world. You see that woman who has put her baby in a car and allowed that car to drive off in a river in Pennsylvania, that's a selfish mother. I can't get no help. But a good mother is going to put her child's necessity above her own need. If it means that you don't get the dress that you want, you don't get the purse that you want, you must do your child first. I wish I had some help. Because children did not ask to come into this world. And once they got here, at least you could take care of them. I wish I had some help. Yeah, yeah, that's why you got to be very selective with who you allow to infiltrate your special place and who you give yourself to because they got some no good men out there that don't mind laying with you, but they don't want no responsibility. Tell your neighbor this guy, but it's right. Tell your neighbor he's got that like nothing. I want to tell you, God is able. How many of y'all know God is able? Yeah, you got to be very selective, women, who you allow to come by your house if you already got a child because you don't want your daughter to see no man spend no time with you because they're not giving her the wrong signal. She got to say, is that really how it's supposed to go? I can't get no love over here. No, you got to be mindful because guess what? If he going to love you, he's going to love your child. And I don't care if your child is for him, he can't have you and don't get the whole package. Come on, somebody ought to say it man. I'm so about to tell you, do a package deal. And if that diamond is going to hold up, if God going to bless you, he's going to bless you and he's going to bless your child. And if the man going to love you, he's going to love you and love your child. He's going to have to get the complete package. And we got some brothers, they want the cookie, but they don't want the ice cream. They got too many full sets up there. You let people land and play for free. But I want to tell you, it's fun to play, but it's bill time now to play over. Yeah. 